You're watching WMAR 2 News. Hi, I'm Ashley James. All Baltimore County Public Schools and offices are closed today due to a problem with their internet network, and this includes all online learning. This is not due to coronavirus. Again, this is a network issue. All Baltimore County Public Schools and offices are closed today due to a problem with the internet network. And just one day before Thanksgiving, more than a dozen people are looking for a new place to live after a fire swept through their townhomes. It happened overnight in Gaithersburg. Montgomery County Fire Spokesperson Pete Perringer tweeted out these uh, pictures. He says it appears the fire started outside a townhouse on Swallow Court and then spread to neighboring homes. Everyone inside those homes were able to make it out safely and investigators still trying to figure out how this fire started. More positive COVID-19 tests have hit the Ravens. Linebacker Pernell McPhee has been added to the reserve COVID-19 list. No word this morning if the move means McPhee tested positive, positive or if it was just a close contact situation. Five players and four staffers have tested positive this week. Tuesday's practice was canceled. According to ESPN, the game tomorrow night against the Steelers is still on, but any further positive tests could put the game in jeopardy. And a huge local tradition, the Turkey Bowl was canceled, but we're still going to air a half hour kickoff show tomorrow starting at 930. That'll be hosted by Scott Garceau and Keith Mills. You'll hear more of Sean Stepner's interviews with players and coaches about the cancellation. Plus, we'll count down the top five plays from the last 20 years. Then at 10, we'll air an encore presentation of Turkey Bowl 100 from last year. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. On this Wednesday, we are tracking the clouds increasing as we go throughout the day. So that means that we will get some sunshine in here, but we're also going to get some clouds. We're also tracking temperatures above average. They start today and will linger into Thanksgiving. And the next chance for rain rolls in here as we head into Thanksgiving. So there's that setup for today as we are dry right now, but that system continues to push on off towards the east. That will make it this way in here. I'd say overnight into tomorrow morning, we'll see the heaviest rain, and then we will get some dry time and then another sliver of rain along with that cold front will move in. But we will dry out, I'd say, between 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, today stays dry. Highs will be in the upper 50s. Ashley? All right, Lynette, thank you. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch Live Radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.